everyone. Today we are talking about saving your emails from like Gmail, uh, saving your Gmail file emails um, if you want to do a bunch of them at once. Now, I have this video right here that is how to save your emails as PDFs, as that tends to be what my clients want. They want them as files that are kind of normal files for them. Uh, this video goes over how to do it one by one, and I'll put that description, that link in the description below. Uh, but I had a great question that is, how do you do it for an entire folder? Now, Gmail used to have a little spot at the top that you could click on that would allow you to download all of them. I have been searching for a few days and I still have not found an answer on how to do this anymore. Um, so I don't know if the feature went away on a Mac, if it's still there on a PC, I'm not entirely sure, but clearly you are not the only person that wants to do this and I don't know why we can't. Uh, so I did find a way that I can show you to save your files as email files, which on this video, somebody actually pointed out, I'm not saving my emails because they're not email files, but I know that a lot of you want them as PDFs, which is why I made this initial video. Um, but we can save them as email files, which means then they'll open up in whatever platform you are using for email. Um, however, if you want to do them as saved by PDFs, I recommend following this video here, or that's below, uh, and going one by one, unfortunately. But in case you do want it this other way as well, and you can see if you like it and want that, um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is do this in Gmail. Uh, last time I did this on mail, but in Gmail, you can do this on Mac or PC, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and I find doing things in folders is just a little bit easier when I go to gmail.com. So you're gonna go to gmail.com, make sure you're logged into wherever your emails are. Uh, and then over here on the left, find whichever folder it is that you are looking to do. Or if you're looking to just do a bunch of emails, you're gonna select each email one by one. Uh, but I'm gonna come over to social, and I'm actually gonna come up to this little select button up at this top. You can see it will select all of them in this folder. Uh, so it'll actually stop um, at 50. So it won't do all of them, but you can say select all. If you have 892 like this, I don't recommend. I think the max is, might be 50, um, but I that'll take a while. So I don't wanna do all 50 right now. So I'm just gonna select, let's go with five. Um, and then what we're gonna do is come over to these three little dots right here. And then we're gonna say forward as attachment. It's gonna load them up. You're gonna put in your email. Um, and then this is a test. Last time I did this, this went to my junk folder, just FYI. So you might wanna check your junk mail. Um, so this is a test number two. Once they're done, I'm gonna click send. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the email that I sent to. And we can see here it is, Amanda, this is test number two. We're gonna come click here. You can see each one of these is a attachment. So I can actually click this little download button and it will download it. Um, or, so actually let's just do one. It'll open it up and it opens it actually as like the mail file. Um, but another thing that you can do is come to this little download, say download all and then it's gonna download it as a zip file. Now, in that zip file, we have each of our emails. Now, notice how these are not PDFs, these are email files that are then opening in mail. So it doesn't quite get it the same as your PDF files, um, but it is a way for you to kind of save them more as your email file. Um, and I know that some of you want them more as actual PDFs, um, Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to do it as the PDFs besides doing it one by one um, and coming up to like print and then doing a save as kind of thing. Um, so save as PDF if you're on a Mac um, or kind of following what I showed you in the other video. So it is a way for you to kind of save the files just in a different file format, um, which may or may not be what you're looking for. Um, but that was the best I could find, unfortunately. So I'm sorry that that doesn't quite do what we're looking for, um, but I hope that that might help. 